The reason why I think we need to really focus on equity as a kaupapa is because it's acknowledging that for those people who haven't experienced inequity, if it's not part of their every hour and their daily reality, they might not see what might be inequitable right in front of them. That means that if you haven't experienced it yourself, you can be oblivious to something that might for others be really obvious. And you've got to really deliberately pull in an equity lens and make sure you're looking at things in a new way. Because we haven't had the conversation very well in the country, it means it's it's hard. It makes us feel uncomfortable often. So we get confronted with really hard issues. And that's partly because we haven't told our story well. We haven't had access to our story. I believe that we've burdened the kaupapa, the kaupapa of biculturalism um, with generations of negative rhetoric that meant that it becomes this point of tension within our conversations. But if we start to really unpack equity and acknowledging that we haven't had a, a lot of discourse on this kaupapa as a country, we start to open up doors. By using the term equity, I found it a lot better as a tool to open people's hearts and get us into the conversation.